Seven News team coverage on the aftermath of Helene is continuing today with Seven News' Taylor Farmer. She's standing by in Greenville County, but let's start in Spartanburg County. Christine Scarpelli tracking the latest on the cleanup. Christine. Yeah, if there's any consolation to this neighborhood we've been in all morning, we have seen utility crews nearby, so they are coming. They are working. It's wild. Just driving down 221 behind me, 295, two major highways in Spartanburg County. There behind me, you really can't tell there was a storm on many of them. The traffic lights are restored on some of them at least, um, but others, this small neighborhood we've been in again all morning. Woodley Road here, Becknell Drive. There's debris all over the place. Obviously, utility crews yet to replace some of the utility poles out here. Many neighbors say they've also been trying to clear the brush themselves with chainsaws as much as possible. We spoke to this neighbor next to me this morning, Jewel. She and her neighbors uh, and her family have been in this home for days without electricity. Two trees fell on their home. She says she's just glad everyone's okay. We were we were all inside at the time. Um, but I just heard trees breaking left and right, and um, there was a tree that had fallen onto the back of our house. There was a branch through my daughter's room. Thankfully, she wasn't in there. The same tree had done damage to my neighbor's property as well. Terrifying stuff. Yeah, across the street, another neighbor said they were so scared trees were going to come down on their home that they went out to the porch to watch the storm. Their big concern, they say, who's going to pay when another neighbor's tree falls on my property? They say they'll take that up with insurance and the county, whoever will listen. For now, we are just seeing a lot of destruction out here in these small neighborhoods in Spartanburg County. We'll send it back to you. Christine Scarpelli, live at noon. Thank you, Christine.